LinkedIn messaging is an art. If you get it right, you'll print money on LinkedIn. But if you don't, you'll keep believing that, hey, LinkedIn doesn't work for my business. I don't know who's getting clients from LinkedIn. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you three of our 3000 plus customers that got it really right. So I'll break down the exact message templates that they used, what kind of results they got, and I'll tell you why these messaging templates work. Let's get right into it. Customer number one, day one technologies. They are basically a team of web application and mobile app development experts that helps, you know, startups and enterprises build their products, right? Now, what they did was before using Salesforce, they typically relied on client referrals to land new clients. But this approach, you know, led growth to stagnate because there's only so many people, you know, and there's only so many events you can go to. You need a, a real cold lead generation engine running in the background to get leads. And they wanted to explore if LinkedIn could really help them start conversations with new potential clients. Okay, so let's look at their messaging. Their messaging is, re is really good. It's very simple, it's non-pushy, aimed at starting conversations and establishing themselves as an authority in front of the prospect's eyes. Okay, so this is the messaging. Beth, I can see, I see that we're both part of the hotel technology LinkedIn group. So they use the common group factor as a hook. I'm impressed by individuals like you who passionately drive brand growth, sort of giving them a little bit of a compliment that works. With a decade of experience, I've aided folks in tech advancement and problem solving through intelligent data utilization. Our funded initiative, can we connect? So here he's positioned himself as somebody who's funded. He's been in the industry for 10 plus years. You know, he helps folks with tech advancements and problem solving, and he's really trying to network, right? Which is what LinkedIn is for, networking. So this great hook, which leads to conversations like this. So here in this particular one, I don't know if you can read it, but I can just read it out for you. So here in the first message, if there's no response, he keeps following up and he says, we're one of the companies recognized for my contributions around AI and ML and building software products globally. Do you need any help around building, you know, minimum viable products? Can we connect? So he's asking for a call. Just getting my message to the top of your inbox. How about a Zoom call tomorrow morning? Then Darren says, hey, my friend, my schedule is very hectic. There may be opportunities for us. You can email me. So he's got an email uh, lead. This person says, sure, provide your availability next Friday. Immediately works, right? This person says, sure, and then sends sends an invite over for Wednesday 3 p.m. This person says, open to connect. However, you know, this person is not a, not a fit, but still he gets into a conversation with them and maybe he'll get a few referrals. So this is a simple, effective messaging technique, which works because he's doing it in volume, right? He's reaching out to hundreds of people every day and that's what really gets him results, right? So these are the results. He got a 4.85% acceptance rate. He was getting 80 new replies every month on average and he was getting five plus highly qualified meetings every month from this initiative. Let's get into customer number two, Hans HQ. Now this customer is a software as a service platform they provide a really intuitive, easy to use platform for creating risk assessments and method statements in less time. They're built for needs in high risk industries like construction, where you have to do accurate risk assessment. Otherwise, people are going to get injured and the company is going to get sued. Empowers the workforce and safety teams to work in collaboration and create high quality RAMS, which is a technical term for these risk assessments that people actually read. They were typically relying on inbound marketing and client referrals for more clients. But then again, they wanted to explore if LinkedIn could help. So let's get into the method they used and why it worked for them. So the messaging was really good. These are the steps that they use so on sales robot that you build something called a sequence, right? Which means for every person in your list, Step one, you send them a connection request. Step two, once they connect, you send them a message and you keep messaging them after waiting a few days until they respond, which is how you get results. Let's look at the messaging. The connection request message was, you know, straightforward. Hi, first name. I would like to add you to my LinkedIn network. Have a lovely day. Just send it. So that's the name of the person that was running the automation. Step two, send message and she sends it one hour after she connects with the person. Hey, first name, thank you for accepting my connection request. I was going through your profile and have to say that you've got an impressive profile, but do you like the glowing recommendation from some recommendation that, that they may have? So this doesn't look like an automated message, right? Because otherwise it's very hard for an AI to read somebody's profile and write something which is extremely personalized like their recommendation. But sales robot can do that and she used it. Now, if they don't have a recommendation, she wrote another message just in case they, you know, it doesn't work for the, a person. Sales robot naturally shifts to the other one if they don't have a recommendation. I had a quick look at your profile and very impressed with what you're doing at company name. You know, would love to connect. Here, the whole goal is to first convert that person into a friend, really show them that you've done your homework, you know, you've taken a look at their profile and then get into pitching your stuff. So then the message number three and four are all about trying to see if they have a pain point around the problem you solve 
and can you sort of use that pain point to get into a call with them so she's asking for a five minute call after stressing on a pain point and qualifying the prospect then she says hi first name as a job title at a company name at company name do you create rams or how involved are you in the process creating high quality rams is a critical aspect of managing any project however this process can be time consuming and challenging these are the pain points that she knows they have often requiring extensive paperwork or manual processes that's where hands hq's rms software comes in shall we schedule a five minute call to look at how hands issue can support you that's it really simple pitch then finally the last message after the day is hope you're well have you seen my previous message do you have at company name any objective this year to digitalize and improve your pro safety processes if yes shall we schedule a five minute call to look at hands hq great message right because they're leaning into the initiatives that they might have around digitization of their processes and positioning their product as a solution. All right, so let's see what kind of conversations they got. Okay, so this person says, it does look interesting. Thank you, I will share with my safety leadership team and come back, which is great. Thanks for the note. Our operations team along with HNS create all the RAMS. I will pass your details. It goes into, I hope you're well. We do write RAMS and COSH packs. Yes, that would be great. So they're agreeing to a call. Then this person says, thank you for your messages. We have frameworks in place. Always looking to add good quality consultants. Feel free to drop me your email address and I'll forward the information where you can sign up for the framework. All right, so great leads. Overall, she got some great results. She had a 45% acceptance rate because she was reaching out with a straightforward connection message. She was getting 156 new replies every month on average, but this was across uh, you know, like five LinkedIn accounts she was using. And across those five accounts, she had 10 plus meetings every month. So this was really great in terms of the funnel. Let's get into customer number three, prime marketing experts. Who's the customer? So they are basically a marketing agency. They help with marketing, website development, and all of that good stuff. So they typically reliant on client referrals or inbound marketing, SEO, to land new clients. And they wanted to explore if LinkedIn could help. So this is where they tried very personalized messaging. So the connection request was highly personalized based on their profile. So maybe recommendations, volunteer work, or you know mutual connections. This is what they used. Then once they connect, then there was a pitch. You know we help companies optimize their cost structure so that they can invest more into growth. When would be a good time to schedule a call? If you're not the correct person, can you point me towards who is? This is a great pitch because if there was a study that showed that if you're using the phrase "correct person" in a message, you're 10% more likely to hear back because everybody likes shifting blame, right? They can say, hey, this is great, but I'm not the right person. That is the right person. Can you talk to them? So you get a response and you also get a referral. Then finally, after say they didn't reply to these two messages, then they would just like and comment. And then, you know, they would pitch the other offering they have. That they also have a college funding program that helps employees defray the cost of a college education. This program helps improve employee retention and makes your job easier. What is the best time for a meeting? So again, there was a pitch and they got quite a few results. All right, so the conversations were really good. So they were networking and then this person referred them to their HR director. This person says that it's been challenging. It would be good to schedule a call. This is the HR manager. So you get a lot of referrals that way and you can pursue them and get leads from that initiative. So these were the results, right? He got an 18% acceptance rate. He was getting about 38 new replies every month and three to four meetings every month, right? And this was just one LinkedIn profile, which was amazing. This is what you need to do. You, are, you need to understand who it is that you're reaching out to and you need to have a good understanding of the mindset behind these messages. So these messages work because of these three reasons. Precise targeting. These were targeted to a very, very specific audience that they knew would convert. The messages were short and valuable, right? They were aimed at just adding value and just starting a conversation to the target, not at selling. And then there were multiple follow-ups, right? If you're not doing enough follow-ups, you're not gonna make it now, right? Because there's so much noise in the market, you really have to be persistent to catch anybody's attention. Okay, let's break it down further for client two and understand why this copywriting technique worked. This person says, do you create RMS? So they asked if they're the right person and they implied the reason for reaching out. Then what they did is they basically agitated the pain point, right? So this copywriting framework is called PAS, Problem Agitated Solution. So they asked if they're the right person, which is kind of the trigger event. Then they went into the problem plus agitation part where they say that, hey, it's a critical aspect Aspect, but it is very time consuming and challenging, right? So this is where they really made the problem, you know, big prospects head. And then that's where they position themselves as the solution, right? That's where Hans HQ's RMS software comes in. Shall we schedule a five minute call, which becomes a very soft task. They're just asking for five minutes. That's it. So if you want more results like this, feel free to reach out to me. I always help people with copywriting, you know, or any kind of LinkedIn outreach strategy needs that you might have or any kind of cold email strategy. All right, stay tuned. We're going to keep posting more and more videos. And if you want a great software that can run cold email and LinkedIn outreach for you, feel free to start a free trial of Sales Robot. That's it for this video. Take care. Bye-bye.